Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Laura Canfield Show. Thank you so much for being here. And today we have on our show, Reverend Brian Rawls is back with us. And I'm so glad because we, we always have so much fun. Um, and we always, Brian always does these wonderful activations or processes, you know, that are really high vibe as well. And so I'm sure you're going to experience that and feel that for yourself. He's just setting up space right now, you know, calling in his team and setting up the space. So in the meantime, for those of you who do not know Brian, I'll just tell you um, a little bit about him. So like I said, he's been with us many times <laughs> and I work with him myself, you know, for personal sessions um, quite often. So I, I have one on the books already. So yay. So Brian is an eighth generation psychic medium. He's a certified Reiki master teacher, extraterrestrial channel and light language linguist angelic facilitator and communicator, embodied Atlantean, Hierophant, and Magi, and Witch. And he has 18 years of experience in helping people understand their divinity and grounding them into their body. He also activates their ancient divine wisdom stored within their DNA to enable them to become their highest potential with great ease and clarity. He communicates with their galactic soul families of light, allowing for their divine wisdom to be shown that there is no impossibilities to their divine potential. Anything is possible if you just have the belief within yourself that it is possible. And today we're going to be talking about, and I hope I say this right, <laughs> the Divine Divas and the Book of Kanasara. I could be saying that totally wrong. We're also talking about what's been happening between January 3rd and 22nd today, and the new information of Starseed Codes. So all that and much more, I'm sure, um, we're going to be experiencing and talking to with Brian. So, Brian, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> if you're ready to come on. Let... Come on. There you go. Nope. Where are you? Okay. What? Can you hear me now? Yes. Welcome to the show. Okay. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I was just talking about what we we're going to do today, and I'm sure I said it wrong because I said the, the Divine Divas and the Book of Kanasara. Nasera. Nasera. See. Yeah, the K is uh, silent. Silent, silent K. Nasera, and as well as what's been happening between January third and today, mm -hmm. and star and the star seed codes. What's been going on with the star seed codes? So, yes. anyways, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. And we're going to be taking live caller questions like we always do. So you can, of course, type into the chat if you have a question. You can raise your hand. And when we're not actually doing a process, if you're brave enough, you can just unmute yourself and go ahead and talk. But when we're in the process, you'll know not to do that. So <laughs> it's okay. We always do some activations and processes, don't we? Yes. Yes. We will be doing a process. I'm not exactly sure on what particular mm -hmm. process is at the moment but uh yeah they they did inform me beforehand that we will be doing a process so um uh, maybe two processes uh awesome. if we have time mm -hmm. awesome. um, yeah, yeah just go ahead and prepare yourself for that um <laughs> so uh well let's go ahead and get started on uh the explanation of uh, for the folks that haven't been following me about the information of the Divine Divas. Mm -hmm. so the Divine Divas are actually um, a set of masters. Well, there are a set of 12 um, particular masters, which, uh, which in between 2000 and 2017, and then through to that, well, 2018 to 2028, there's going to be uh, um, a total of 12 masters uh, that come into power. Uh, and on the 2028, there will be one physical uh, master that comes into power, which it makes a council of 13. Mm. Each of these uh, uh, divine divas or each of these masters will be available for communication with each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. um, and will be basically a communication system. So we obviously know that uh, we have the Book of Akash open. Mm 
Um, the Book of Akashic um, is basically the Book of Akashic Records, but a master presiding over the Book of Akash is the Book of, uh, or is Master Akash, which is a, a feminine in uh, nature. And we uh, had last year the Book of Sahara. Mm-hmm. And now this year we have the Book of Nasira. Mm. And Nasira is basically... Uh, looks sort uh, looks basically like um, the top half. Uh, I'm a um, black panther, black cat type uh, energy, and then the lower half is the feminine, uh, uh, feminine in nature. And then, so uh, Nasira came into power on December twenty first of two thousand eighteen. Uh, every winter solstice. Uh, Every winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, there will be a new master that comes into power. uh, And the one previous before that will go into slumber for a 33-week period. As they go into the slumber, that is with them regenerating, uh, regenerating, rejuvenating, and um, uh, reintegrating their selves and their uh, energies and their power to basically come back and uh, be available as, as code keepers and, um, and communicational liaisons uh, for um, divine wisdom and uh, divine information about uh, folks' soul path, soul wisdom, and uh, energies of uh, starseed nature. Mm-hmm. Um, so Sahara went into slumber on, uh, December 21st of, uh, 2018. Nasira came into power on the 21st. Um, uh, Sahara will be in, uh, in slumber for 33 weeks mm-hmm. and then she will come back in. Nasira and her will co, um, co-create together, um, the, basically co-create the uh, energies together, but uh, Sahara will be on the, uh, on the sidelines, but this is when Nasira is in power for a full week from December 21st uh, to December 21st of 2019. December 21st of 2019 is when another divine diva will take, uh, uh, take position and t- uh, take reign. And then Nasira will go into uh, into slumber uh, for 33 weeks. So uh, uh, what this is, is these are divine divas uh, because it is the divine wisdom uh, coming back into power, the divine feminine. As the divine feminine comes back into power, it enables us and allows for us to understand that we are uh, we are fully enabled. Uh, we are fully enabled with the divine wisdom inside of us, and uh, also, uh, and also, the higher power is within us to bring about the um, influenced nature of uh, the uh, star nations, as well as also the. Uh, star beings that are currently uh, with us and the energies of uh, the energies of these divine divas are uh, very in- encapsulating of uh, a wondrous amount of uh, wisdom very monumental frequencies mm-hmm. and they they each play a particular role see Sahara was uh, Sahara was about um, allowing our uh, limitations and lack to basically melt away. And, uh, and this era is about allowing for us to trust ourselves and us to uh, live in our wisdom as, uh, as star seeds and, um, and beings of uh, enlightenment and empowerment. And as we are, uh, as Nasira is in power, she is in uh, enabling us and in uh, infusing us with um, 
with trust for ourselves and trust uh, of our higher uh, higher power and trust of our higher wisdom. So uh, now Nasira has been giving me certain techniques to uh, begin to teach people. One particular technique is uh, is if uh, folks do not remember their dreams. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of folks, uh, they have been coming to me and speaking about uh, about them not um, them not being able to remember their dreams. And so we have a well of dreams right back here at the back of our head. And and basically what Nasira has been telling me is Nasira uh, said that we must make sure that our well of dreams is uh, is is basically filled up uh, enough with code so that our uh, our uh, dreams or our uh, dreamscapes can trickle up into our uh, in, up into our brainstem and shine through the pineal gland to shine against the Ajna lens so that we can remember our dreams and recall them because it's really our Ajna lens that uh, that allows the uh, energies or allows the light to refract back um, because what what the well of dreams is is it's actually filled up with um, with uh, obviously the water within our bodies it's mm -hmm. filled up with that uh, that liquid uh, that um, that keeps our um, that keeps our body kind of like that this um, uh, uh, kind of, it keeps our, uh, our joints lubricated. It keeps everything, um, everything in function for us. And if our well of dreams is not, uh, filled up with love or filled up with light, then our, uh, our dreams cannot trickle up our brainstem and shine into the pineal, shine through the Ajna lens and, allow for us to recall our uh, dreams and our uh, dreamscapes and the visions of our dreams. So uh, that will, be, uh, okay, and Nasira said that will be one of the activations that we will do today is to fill uh, the well of dreams up with uh, light to allow everyone to begin to recall their dreamscapes. And so that uh, being said, uh, there is a monumental of uh, a monumental amount of light that is coming into or coming onto the planet uh, around this time, especially due to um, due to Nasira actually anchoring in to our uh, physical body. So what's been happening from January third uh, through to today is that. Nasira herself has been anchoring herself into our our seven physical chakras. So January 3rd, 6th, 9th, 12th, 15th, 18th, and 21st into the 22nd. Those were are the days that they have been uh, downloading or she has been anchoring into our seven physical chakras. So the third started with the root, the sixth started with the sacral, the ninth started with the solar, the twelfth started with the um, with the heart, the fifteenth started with the throat, the the eighteenth started with the third eye, and then the twenty first through to today mm -hmm. begins with our crown, and that is. Uh, uh, she has been anchoring into our seven physical chakras so that we can begin to embody uh, the divine wisdom that Nasira brings to the table. And remember, it's to uh, allow for us to understand that we as humans and we as in, uh, as in star seeds and, um, and beings of light, that we uh, no longer need to doubt ourselves. Um, the doubt totally needs to fly out the window because it's uh, it's not needed anymore. Mm -hmm. The doubt just uh, limit um, puts limitations upon us, 
and uh, really makes everything difficult for us to really understand that we as uh, as um, humans, uh, basically we are the spark of the divine. Um, there, we are not a mistake. Um, they, uh, our higher power broke the mold when they made us. So, uh, it's all about, uh, understanding that we, uh, as humans, we are, uh, we are the, the special, uh, the special species that, um, the star nations and the, um, and the star beings, they're interested in us because we have what uh what they necessarily don't they actually we actually have a vessel they are energy they are frequency so uh so they're really interested on the reason why we have vessels and they necessarily don't uh well all of them don't have vessels or some of them don't have vessels because there are some that do have vessels like us but their vessels are in a different um, manner. And also, um, we, have so much, uh, we have so much information that is available to us uh, due to the understandings that, um, that Mother Earth has activated within uh, her human beings, such as like um, the... Uh, the the uh, ancient civilization of the Zeptepi uh, that was uh, the energies of the beginning uh, and the uh, the humans or the divine um, or the divine beings that uh, basically sparked the beginning for us. So we as uh, we as uh, star beings, because a, a lot of us are star beings. Um, and a lot of us are only, uh, a lot of us only just came here to help mother earth within her ascension process and within our ascension process, because you got to remember, we are the ground crew, uh, of mother earth to help mother earth, uh, to ascend as well as also to help ourselves to ascend. So what I'm going to do here, uh, real quick is we're going to start with our first, uh, our first process and bringing more light into the um, into the well of dreams, and right here is well where the well of dreams is. Okay, right here. So I want everybody to put their hand on the back of their uh, head. It's almost like right at the uh, so your thumb should be at the nape of your neck, and then your uh, your um, pinky should be right at the uh, beginning of your crown chakra. So. Uh, if your left hand up there, uh, you want to put your left hand if you're uh, left-handed, your right hand if you're uh, right-handed, or vice versa, whichever is comfortable for you. And you want to place your hand up there, and you uh, basically want to just hold it there. When it heats up, you can uh, just allow for the energy to flow within it. And while uh, the energy is flowing within it, I'm going to uh, call in some uh, star beings, and uh, we are going to do a process. So I call upon Mother, Father, God, my guides, the angels, the ascended masters, and all the beings of light from on high. As I align with my mighty I am presence, the highest light of who I am and who I have forever been, to assist me with the following. The Well of Dreams Activation. Take a deep breath in and listen to my voice. Ino kotelos to hore ne kiala kashano ko ora katayos to undela pa in. De lo ko uramba hasta wa andai hil. Loko to ko ora katayos to humba iza nua ara akiane. Do pokon, de lo kosai, wando uren e la pa anu, ze patoku unde le kando horasta yene isi, jokote e la mahayan, de lo kosamoku do urakata ishte ende isua.
ela katun elas bela takune ela shana reste esto vina makor katahilne esa takiawa Rende Hillestor and the Hillacayesti Ishtanu, Ela Batu Rande Hillacayes, Pelaco Rambe Hillasayanu, Dinare Pendolo Cocote La Bahar, Zendolo Quar, Gendolo Curande Illestor. up and through your root chakra and through your sacral up through your solar and through your heart up through your throat and through your third eye down into your weather dream Refilling, rejuvenating, transforming, and feeling the energetic light up within the well of dream, 
allowing it to burst out the crown chakra, cascading over and into the fourth eye where your head was soft when you were a baby, steaming down into the pineal gland, all the way down the Shushamna, activating the eight cell blueprint at the perineum. And take a deep breath in. Just allow that energy to flow. Okay. So how does that energy feel? A lot of heat, for sure. Um, and a lot of energy in the in the third eye as well, not just in the Willow Dreams, but also for me, I felt it a lot in the third eye as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, lots of energy. So Yvonne is also saying I felt sleepy and lots of energy. I'm feeling yes. sleepy now. Go on. <laughs> yeah, the sleepiness will, um, will kind of ebb and flow throughout the whole uh, entire call uh, today. And uh, obviously it is uh, just due to the integration. Mm -hmm. We are going through the crown chakra uh, energies as well as also uh, as well as also um, well of dreams uh, integration and uh, and then also with the second process once we get to it uh, if we have time uh, there will be a upgrade to the DNA um, uh, to the DNA energy uh, so do understand that there will be a lot of um, a lot of integration that this call will uh, do for all of us. So um, I wanted to get to the uh, uh, to the next um, information uh, that I will soon be. Um, well, actually, I am already using uh, this information uh, with my clients, uh, but only when the uh, when my guides tell me to use it because. Um, they've been very select on the um, on the folks that they use it with. Um, so I actually um, so I I came across the book for Christmas. Okay, and it was it was probably about six days after Nasira came into power, and uh, it's by a very well known uh, light language uh, light language. Um, um, spiritual architect or light language linguist and I had her book in my hands and I started reading it and it it really it really brought a lot of memories to uh, uh, into being for me a lot of um, information uh, that basically was um, uh, coming into my uh, into my soul, and there was just amazing, amazing amount of um, understanding that Nasira, uh, Nasira made me remember. And what it was was she, she started listing star nations. Well, Nasira started uh, making me list star nations. Uh, down a piece of paper and then she told me she says you will use a chart to find the number or find numerals that correspond with the star nation and I was like what are these for and she's like these are star nation DNA codes to activate more memories more wisdom and uh, and the mother tongue of each star nation. I was like, okay. So what came about it all was there was, I mean, and it even goes into, um, into ancient civilization. So it doesn't just necessarily um, deal with the star seed it, or the star nations. It deals with also the, uh, the information of, uh, of 
particular ancient civilization like Lemuria, um, Atlantis, as well as also Tara. Um, so the, it's uh, it's a culmination of um, of these these outrageous codes that uh, come in numerical value and and basically all it is is I say uh, the code a total of either three, uh, six, nine, or twelve times and it automatically awakens memories, it awakens uh, light language, it awakens thought processes, it, it awakens a numerous of things. And uh, right now I have a total of 12 of these, well, actually, yeah, 12 of these codes. And, uh, and see, it doesn't only just um, name the, uh, it doesn't just name the, um, the energies of, um, well, first off, I need to explain that the star nations, none of the star nations are, uh, are neither or are uh, labeled as good and bad, okay? The, the star nations are basically, um, the star nations are basically uh, a energy of balance because that is what we are, is balance, okay? We have to have, we have to have the light. To also have, uh, well, we have to have light and dark to be a balance. We also have to have right and wrong to have a balance. We have to have, um, we have to have uh, yes and no to have a balance. So, um, like the ones that uh, think the Dracos are uh, are negative, no, not necessarily. They are just at a different frequency, okay? Uh, now, the only ones that I won't mess with is the reptilians, because the reptilians are just not my cup of tea. But they also um, they also have uh, a star nation called the Galekians. The Galekians are a star nation that, uh, that they have a bad rep, but uh, their bad rep is because they don't trust people. They don't trust people like uh, what human nature does. Is they don't uh, they don't understand the whole information about this. So, uh, so how do you know uh, what star nation we come from? Well, basically, what what will happen is my guides will speak to your guides, and then. My uh, guides will uh, whisper, uh, well, will say to me, uh, this is either um, a, a hybrid being or a, uh, or a, um, or basically our original star seed. Original star seeds are, are uh, a star seed with one, uh, one particular star seed code on or a primary star seed. All right. Uh, there are hybrids. Hybrids are uh, are star seeds with uh, with two or uh, or multiple um, star seed bloodlines. A lot of what is coming onto the planet right now is um, is numerous of um, uh, numerous of star seed bloodlines. So I actually found um, one of my clients the other day actually had six different star seed bloodlines within her. So I actually had to do six different codes to awaken the particular memories and to awaken the energies that uh, that were appropriate for her. So it's all around it's all around intensifying and understanding the energies that uh, are given to me during a session uh, with us or a session with y'all uh, to where my guides uh, tell, uh, well, your guides tell my guides uh, what uh, numeral um, activations to give you. And then I 
I give the numeral activations to y'all, and then I update your um, your resolution point, and I also update your um, uh, update your uh, new neuro pathways, and then I update your higher self. So basically, it's all an updating. It's almost similar to a computer. Your computer has to have um, upgrades. So does your body, and so does your chakras, and so does your meridians. And so does your, um, uh, so does your electric, so does your different energy systems of the body. Uh, there are nine energy systems to the body. I can't name them off the, uh, right off the bat right now because it's, um, it's like, um, uh, there's nine different energy systems that I see personally. Uh, so, uh, when I actually have a personal client on the table, I see all nine of those, uh, nine of those energy systems, and if all nine of them are, uh, are out, I have to sit there and, um, and do uh, nine different protocols to bring them all back online and all bring them all back in uh, online appropriately, because if they're not appropriately, uh, appropriately running, that um, if one's offline, it throws the whole body offline. If two of them's offline, it throws the whole uh, body offline. So uh, it goes on like that. So you have to understand that these energies that we are uh, are bringing into our understanding uh, and the new uh, numerical values that um, that are given to me, they update memories, they update uh, creative expression, they update uh, psychic abilities, they uh, allow for recall of uh, star seed memories, uh, on and off planet memories, um, spaceship uh, or uh, space station memories, um, uh, mothership memories, uh, and even other realm memories. So uh, you have to understand, people, we are multidimensional beings of light. Uh, it doesn't just mean that we are, uh, we are only able to uh, work within this dimension. Because uh, you have to realize this dimension is a uh, this dimension right here is a dimension that runs on time. Okay, this is a time space continuum, and uh, and it actually really is. Uh, time was made by man to control to control the uh, the schedule. So that people would have a um, would uh, would have a sense of structure, and really we are beings that sh uh, that um, are supposed to basically go with the flow. We're not supposed to have a uh, structure that we are supposed to be uh, structurized beings. We are supposed to be beings that uh, that roll with the solar energies, that roll with the lunar energies, that roll with the tides. And, and time uh, itself is what uh, is a lot what limits us, is because we are held down by the mundane restrictions. So, I mean, if I, if me personally, if I didn't have to, um, if I didn't, um, and I'm not saying this out of meanness or anything like that. If I didn't have to um, work with folks on a schedule, I would so throw away all my clocks, all my watches, and my, uh, my TVs, my calendars, and all that. And I'd be like, nope, I don't have nothing to do all day long. And I would just go with the flow, do what I please, stay up all night, stay up all day sleep when I want, and do what I want, whenever I want, because that is just, that's just the rebel star seed within me, and, uh, and that's really how we're supposed to run. I'm the same way. <laughs> and really chaotic is basically, uh, is basically, uh, living without structure living without a structurized time uh time continuum mm -hmm. and really it's not about that it's about understanding that we have um 
And it's about understanding that we are beings without uh, without limitations. Because men, or man puts limitation on us. We don't put limitations on ourselves. Man puts limitation on us. That's just like uh, limitations around prosperity. We don't put them on us. Folks put them on us because everybody says we have to work to pay bills or we have to pay Uncle Sam or uh, or we're going to go to jail or we have to um, uh, we have to uh, sit there and drive um, this or sit there and uh, drive the speed limit or we're going to go to court now not necessarily like that because we as uh we as humans or we as the quote unquote new humans because that is what we are is we are new um multi-dimensional human in this multi-dimensional plane of existence running on a uh on a structurized um running on a structurized um understanding of what uh of what men has uh or what man has put in front of us mm -hmm. and and it's not supposed to be like that it's supposed so to be random. how how do we go beyond that like how do we go beyond those limitations and um beyond that limit these limitations without ha uh without losing everything um because that's what would happen ultimately if we lost all structure mm -hmm. um, if we didn't have to um how do we go beyond that is we have to we have to obviously run with a little bit of structure but what we can do when we don't um uh, when we don't have to have it structure is we must have fun we must enjoy life we must do what our heart desires we must make um we must laugh we must play we must enjoy the time that we uh spend with each other we must uh express ourselves creatively um uh, because creative expression is the way that we are able to manifest things into our current reality mm -hmm. it's almost similar like um like art or a vision board uh you cut things out of um out of a magazine to place on a vision board because if you have the physical reminder of um of something that you want you are able to manifest it into your current reality because uh the mind is more um is more prone to manifesting things that it can see and that it can hear we must hear out loud and we must also, uh, we must hear the things that we want out loud. And we must also um, see the things that we want. So what I've been doing is um, I like to play scratch off tickets, um, the lottery scratch off tickets mm -hmm. uh, here in America. And if you are around America, buy you a scratch off ticket and say, I will win $100. Scratch that baby off and you will win. Awesome. <laughs> so, if so, if Yvonne wants to um, experience going on a spaceship and bringing in a unique healing modality, how would she do that? How would you? Uh, how would you do that? Is you would first off state the intention, state the intention, and then create it by. Um, Create it by seeing it in your mind's eye or creating it on paper or drawing it out or uh, creatively uh, creatively um, putting or creatively make it 3D or make it physical to where you can see it every single day. And uh, it may take it may take hours, it may take uh, days, it may take weeks but it will not take years it will not take uh um or it won't take um months or years uh it will take 
a limited amount of time for you to uh, to basically manifest these things into your current reality. But you must first, first state your intention out loud. If you state your intention out loud, that gives the mind and the universe the proper processes, techniques, and protocols to bring it into your reality. Yep, and it um, and and what about dream time? Because Yvonne is asking about dream time. Can she do that with dream time as well? Yes. Uh, if, like, say for instance, you can control your dreams, uh, you can actually uh, command to uh, to basically bring in a particular uh, dream or bring in a particular understanding of what you would like to dream about. And then say, for instance, if your dreamscapes are, um, are uh, scary or if you have nightmares, you can e easily bring yourself out of a dream by pressing right here. And you can press right here in your dream time and you will bring yourself out of your dream. So it's very simple. A lot of um, a lot of my people uh, have, are suffer from nightmares, and um, uh, normally I will teach them this technique. If uh, this technique doesn't work, then I will make them a physical uh, Grigory bag or a Mojo bag, and they can place it underneath their uh, pillow, and that physical Mojo bag or Grigory bag will help them from uh from having nightmares so it all depends on um it all depends on um beliefs and also your intention uh, because remember if um if you believe it then you will receive it so um caroline's saying she used vision boards for about 10 years and spoke them out loud and none of them have manifested and now she's given up on her dreams so, oh, no, no, no. so Caroline, first of all, I just want to say, did you watch my vision board um, workshop that I did? It was free <laughs> to watch that. <laughs> Go ahead, Brian. Yeah, you, you must make sure you never give up on your dreams. Giving up on your dreams is uh, saying that you let the, um, that you let the, the, energies of oh well you let the negative thoughts and the negative energies beat you okay so so i will tell you that some folks do not want to see you successful okay some folks do not want to see you um uh they don't they don't want to see you excel so what um what a lot of folks will do is is they will throw negative thoughts at you in regards to keeping you blocked or you can block yourself intentionally. So what I would recommend you do is get you a white candle and and a lemon, okay? A white candle and a lemon. You want to place, all right, so say for instance, you want, all right, want to place your white candle on a saucer like this, and then you want to cut your lemon in half, all right? You really want to use two lemons, uh, but you want to cut your lemon in half. You'll place a half a lemon over here, a half a lemon over here, a half a lemon over here, and a half a lemon over here. You wanna place it in the four directions. And then you wanna place your uh, white candle right here in the center. And then you wanna light your candle in the second that the, uh, that the, um, that the flame hits the wick of the candle, you want to uh, state and uh, state your intention as, I remove all blocks that are standing in my way and you want to repeat that, and you want to repeat that out loud. And that is uh, doing a, um, uh, it's what I call a blockbuster spell or a blockbuster uh, candle, uh, candle intention. 
uh, or if you really want to get fancy, you can anoint your candle away from you like this from, from here to here uh, with olive oil. And you say, for instance, if you have, um, if you have like some citronella uh, leaves or if you have like a citronella plant, you can dry some out. Uh, and you can sprin uh, sprinkle some on the candle, and uh, you can do the same thing with the lemon on all four uh, so, uh, all four directions. And you can place it right there, and you can uh, say, "Creator of all that is, or God, or higher power, uh, I command for all blocks and all um, negative intentions that are being." thrown at me that are uh, that are intended for me to uh, stay blocked or stay um, uh, stay block um, stay crossed up to remove uh, from my being uh, and from my highest and best good so mode it be and it's simple as that and also uh, that allows for that basically, uh, works within days, okay? That is a good way to remove blocks and remove uh, limitations because uh, either fo um, folks that don't want to see you successful can block you up and you can actually block yourself up. So you want to be very careful when uh, you go about, um, there you go, uh, yeah, what uh, Alara says in the uh, chat box. Uh, you can basically put all that, uh, like uh, creator of all that is, I command for all blocks and negative intentions that are thrown at me that are intended for me to stay cross up, be removed from my being, from my highest and best good, so mode it be. And you can literally remove those blocks within minutes, okay? Um, and that works uh, very quickly, and uh, I... I mean, I guarantee if folks do it uh, uh, tonight into, um, well, tonight and with it still being within the energies of the full moon because it's three days before the full moon and three days after the full moon, we are within the energies of the uh, full moon. Uh, that especially is a very powerful time to remove blocks. Um, so, uh, Get your lemons and get your white candle. Yes, I need to get some lemons and white candles. <laughs> I don't have any either. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. I'm so glad that Caroline, you asked that question. If you mess with herbs, you can uh, like um, some famous blockbuster herbs would be like um, uh, high sop or he sop, um, centronella. Uh, you can even um, you can even take some orange zest, or you can even take some uh, um, uh, chamomile. Uh, there's many different things that you can use uh, as blockbuster herbs. Uh, it's and it's very uh, sage is also a blockbuster herb. Um, uh, even mint is to, uh, mint is too. So uh, there's many different uh, household herbs that you probably have in the cabinet that you can use as, to remove blocks that you have uh, within you. Awesome, thank you. So, I mean, this one here with the lemons and the white candle, I mean, that seems pretty easy <laughs> to do. Very easy, very, very easy. And just state your intention, whatever that is, and just ask that the box be removed and so on. Yeah. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. And you can actually do almost anything with a white candle. White candle is something that I keep in my house 24 7. Hmm. I am never without a white candle. And if you see me without a white candle, something's very wrong. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. I'm going to tell my husband we need white candles and lemons. <laughs> Stores are all, it's like 10 o'clock here, so everything's closed, but tomorrow, first thing. Yeah, very much so, very much so. so awesome, thank you. 
So they are wanting me to uh, go ahead and do this small DNA upgrade if we have time. Uh, yeah. And um, and we are. Uh, it's a very short uh, DNA upgrade, so it won't take as long as the filling up with light of the um, well of dreams. So mm -hmm. uh, if everyone wants to take some deep breaths in, uh, feet flat on the floor. And take some deep breaths in, and I call upon Mother, Father, God, my guides, the angels, the ascended masters, and all the beings of light from on high. As I align with my mighty I am presence, the highest light of who I am and who I have forever been, to assist me with the following. DNA upgrade. for the group of the Alara Canfield Show. El astor inde el pajayano okur eta is Delomako orande el asia ama ayat ur Delokwa arande el asi Geno Oram de Elewa. Ilasanu ure ela pahayane e kalok urasian. Vela haram ilewa. Toloko okotelo astam un. Ino uren esta huko oratian de ela para. Geno uran de esau. Zukuto uran hine epeti anoka ashtal. Matia na as. Metia no ku. Rapatelo urasto ukome eneki astau. Tu uran zahua aran bela ti edelewa aka atayinu repesh dolo urende zahin vela ta arapa te enuku uras.
breathing in, deep breath in. Bring that energy up and through your root chakra and through your sacral, up through your solar. Through your heart, up through your throat. your third eye, down into the well of dreams, up and out the crown chakra, doubling back into the fourth eye where your head was soft when you're a baby, aiming down into the pineal gland, all the way down the Shushamna, activating the eight cell blueprint at the perineum. Deep breath in. Okay. So that was slightly different than the other one. Um, but wow, I felt this one I felt right away, right in my in my heart chakra and my third eye and then the, my crown and then then I have no idea where else I went after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that um, that's normal with uh, DNA upgrades. It usually uh, goes straight within the heart chakra uh, due to a lot of um, uh, a lot of EPCs or a lot of energy power centers are. Um, while a lot of folks with EPCs that are in um, uh, well that have EPCs at the heart chakra or the crown chakra, those would be um, and EPCs basically is energy power center. Mm -hmm. That is where your energy is mainly stored at. So um, uh, a lot of folks, uh, APCs is either in the heart chakra or the thr uh, or the uh, third eye or in the throat. And some right. people have two APCs. Uh, uh, like myself, I have two APCs. Um, and uh, there are some, uh, there are a select few that have three. And... Um, and normally the folks that have three uh, are um, basically have a primary and a secondary one. Um, but there, that is very rare. And I only came across one person that has actually three EPCs. So, awesome. so yeah, your EPC is probably within the heart chakra. <laughs> probably. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. That was, that was great. Um, so uh, yeah, lots of lots of activity for sure, right? So how's everybody else doing? Um, beautiful. I've had a lot of eye fluttering the past few weeks, and now, and uh, Yvonne says love it. So yeah, for me it was it was it was nice. It was really powerful. I really enjoyed that one more so I think than the first one. The first one was intense. Oh, one I was going to mention, Brian, that I noticed that your light language when you're speaking is much more powerful now than before yes um my light language has uh changed and transformed over the i would say uh it all started in i would say early 2000 probably about 2015 maybe 2000 or late 2014 and uh yeah and i've been speaking light language now for probably about uh a good probably a good almost six years and um well five six years and each and every time as uh as each each winter solstice comes around or each solstice I have to say uh it seems as if I gain more dialect mm -hmm. or I uh or I use a more primary dialect uh than the rest so um so yeah it it seems to change quite frequently um and um 
and I have noticed them changing rapidly uh, in the past, I would say, past six months. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I've noticed a, a big shift since even last time you were on. You were on a, in October, and even yeah. since then, I've noticed um, it's changed. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it's very interesting, very interesting how, uh, um, very interesting how um, uh, the light language changed uh, over a such a short time. Um, yeah. Because it's uh, it's almost to the point to where um, it's almost up to the point to where it's a uh, it's a a brand new uh, language that um, that I fluently speak, but uh, I know bits and pieces of it, but or I translate bits and pieces of it. Uh, but I really don't, I really don't have to translate it because it's like people already know what the, what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. So, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So um, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the offers that you have for us today. <laughs> okay. Now you'll probably have to remind me about the offers because uh, with all, actually I might be able to pull them up real quick. Yeah, so if you're on the live page, you can just click on special offer. If you're not, you can go to alara.at forward slash show forward slash Brian01. It's January. Brian's back with us. January. So there's two packages, package A, package B. Maybe I can share a screen. Yeah, okay, here we go. See, here's package A, package B. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, um, so there's a package A, it's a 30 minute reading session and a pyramid healing session and the book of Nasara part one and two. Mm-hmm. And then package B is 60 minute reading session, 30 minute bone reading, 60 minute remote pyramid healing session and the book of Nasara part one and two. So do you want to talk a little bit about some of these? Yes, I will actually um, begin speaking about um, package A. So package A is obviously a 30 minute intuitive question and answer session so you have 30 minutes of um of basically question and answers with me um the only thing uh that i do not um i do not like to uh question up or i do not like to uh, do is diagnose people mm-hmm. Much more mm-hmm. far away from diagnosing people because uh that is just not my um not my forte right Um, i do answer certain medical questions but i'm very uh very iffy on uh the ones that i answer um the um also within question answer session obviously you uh can hear that i speak rather quick and uh we get through a lot of questions uh in a 30 minute reading and there is abundant of information that uh, comes in a 30 minute session. So a lot of um, things um, I receive in a 30 minute session is such as like um, uh, your spiritual gifts, your, uh, your, um, your star seed, um, uh, your star seed lineages, your guides names, um, answer love questions, financial questions, career questions, spirituality questions, um, um, uh, obviously the famous purpose question. Um, and um, then 30 minute remote um, pyramid session is you go underneath the pyra- uh, a, um, a copper pyramid, like the one in the picture. And uh, also uh, you get four uh, candles, uh, one at the north, one at the south, one at the east, one at the west, and that is for the four directions of your um, pathways. And then I use four um, uh, four uh, Reiki symbol uh, quartz crystals, and uh, basically those are um, those are charged quartz crystals or charged Lemurian quartz crystals that. Uh, have been charged or they go out in the full moon each uh, full moon and they've been doing that uh, for a 
probably about the past four years. And uh, so they are really, really up to date uh, in everything that, um, uh, that they are within. Um, and also um, the Pyramid Healing Session helps with anxiety, depression, ascension symptoms, fibromyalgia, fib uh, fibrosis, detoxification, high blood pressure, heart issues, cancer, HIV, STDs, uh, autoimmune disorders, uh, MS, impotent, sexual issues, and fertility issues. Um, <coughs> they also help with intentions. Um, and also, uh, you will need to print out a picture um, uh, if you choose uh, session A. Um, and uh, basically, I will, uh, it's a one on one uh, session, um, which is remote. Um, and then I email you a, um, a, a report, and it's basically a write up of what is cleared. And then the bonus is the Book of Nasira Part 1 and Part 2. Uh, and the Book of Nasira Part 1 and Part 2 is actually a, um, a, a set of MP3s that allow you to embody uh, the, um, the actual book of Nasira with all of its information, all of its wisdom, all of its uh, divinity. Um, now, Package B. Uh, package B is actually one of my favorite packages uh, because obviously you get 30 minute um, reading of question and answers, <clears throat> same as uh, in package A. And then you get the 30 minute bone reading session. So the 30 minute bone reading session is worked with a mat like this. Should I stop the share? Obviously you see that and or it's works with um there we go i used to use a blue mat <clears throat> now i use a green mat so it works with that and it's a circle with um north south east and west on it and then um and then a circle in each and then i use these particular bones and they're not actual bones now there are an uh, there is an actual bone that I use within it, and it is actually a, an owl vertebrae. Uh, but these are the bones that I use within the um, bone reading, like a feather, uh, a key, a medallion, mm -hmm. um, a rose piece, one that looks like a rose, mm -hmm. um, a Merkaba quartz crystal, um a bean um a little turtle a pumpkin stem um and a little healing hand and then these are just a few of the bones um there is actually a total of like 21 maybe 30 uh, bones and what happens is that uh, I um, you say your name over the bones while I shake them up uh, and I shake them up a total of three six nine or 12 times and you say your name during the whole time that I'm shaking them and when you say stop, I throw them down on the mat. Anything that falls within the circle gets read. Anything that falls out of, out of the circle or uh, off the mat does not get read. Okay. And sometimes all 30 um, bones fall in the circle. Sometimes <laughs> five fall in the circle. Sometimes um, 10 fall in the circle. Sometimes 20 falls in the circle. Um, but normally, um, a bone reading lasts 30 minutes. Uh, there has been times when a bone reading lasts uh, 35 to 40 minutes, but most of the time uh, it lasts uh, a matter of, um, it normally it uh, lasts about the matter of 30 minutes. But um, I have had great uh, success and great accuracy with the bones 
uh, from many different people. They say that the bone readings uh, are very, very accurate and are right on point with the situations that are going on within their life. So um, most definitely check it out. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Do not hesitate to, um, to purchase one or the other. Uh, after you uh, purchase, uh, you uh, will get sent um, uh, an email uh, to email my assistant, uh, and obviously once you, um, once you make that purchase, my assistant will get, uh, this email, in which my assistant is my husband, so, um, so it's very, uh, quick and, uh, to the point to where, um, your session does get, uh, scheduled. Do know that your, se uh, session will be scheduled within a, uh, within a two to three week period, um, and, uh, I am right now, uh, scheduled at least an, um, at least five to, uh, six days out, but they're, uh, they're being taken care of rather quickly. So, um, so do not worry. Um, but, uh, yes, they are very informative, uh, readings and I look forward to reading for each and every one of you. Awesome. Thank you. And in package B, the the remote pyramid healing session is 60 minutes. Yes, well. the remote um, pyramid session is 60 minutes. So uh, you get 60 minutes of you being underneath the pyramid. And um, actually, I'll actually show you the um, pyramid because the pyramid uh, actually gets upgraded. Hmm. Uh, it actually gets upgraded multiple times uh, in full moons and also uh, uh, with certain codes. And also it actually uh, gets upgraded by me with light language. Uh, it gets upgraded by me with light language at least uh, twice a week uh, where I hold the, um, hold the pyramid and speak light language over it. And then also I meditate with this, uh, with this over uh, the head area. Oh. So, and uh, it's a pyramid that is used for multiple things. So um, it's very uh, it's very useful in a number of things. So um, it's a very powerful little tool. So how do you upgrade one of those if you don't do light language? Because Linda has one. Just curious. Well, um, uh, how you upgrade it uh, if you don't uh, don't do light language. Well, you can sit it out in um, in the full moon. Mm -hmm. You can sit it out in this uh, in the solar energy. You can also um, you can also uh, mm, well you can also put organite underneath it. Uh, you can you can even uh, um, I do. Um, I do charge items for people, uh, and uh, that uh, that is only offered uh, if you become a, a personal client of mine. Um, and um, and obviously, uh, if you uh, purchase a package, uh, you do get um, uh, put on my email list, uh, and uh, I can very well offer that after. Um, that, um, but yes, um, I would first start off, uh, Linda with either the lunar or the solar energies to, uh, and just state your intention of upgrading it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Um, does anybody have any other questions for Brian right now about the packages or anything else that we've talked about? Renetta said she was feeling dizzy. So I, I, I just asked her to connect to mother earth and breathe. Yes, yes. Right? Yeah, awesome. And um, I was going to ask if Nasara has anything, any other wisdom for us today? That's so basically, Nasara just uh, um, wants all of you to uh, um, definitely, um, if you are wanting a life changing, life altering experience, uh, definitely purchase uh, one of the packages. Um, uh, obviously, 
uh, the first package would do. But if you're really wanting um, to put, uh, basically put the full, uh, the pedal to the metal, mm -hmm. you better uh, uh, choose option B because option B will definitely bring, uh, bring in a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, I would say a, a lot of multi-dimensional upgrades and uh, light codes that are uh, definitely going to upgrade and increase the speed of information that uh, that is uh, going to bring through a uh, a number of um, I would say a a number of inform uh, of wonderful information for you mm -hmm. so make sure that um that you all do take advantage of this special offer um uh, because they are uh there are some very special um uh sessions that i only offer uh to uh to certain telesummits mm -hmm. and um and i know uh personally that uh, Nasira will uh, definitely give information in these readings, uh, so you'll be able to receive channeled information from particularly her, um, and that is not normal uh, for Nasira to do because normally Nasira is the overseer of the book uh, of information and wisdom that uh, is brought forth. But uh, Nasir just informed that she will personally answer personal questions. Awesome. So, can what about those numbers that you were talking about earlier? Can yes, those numbers will be used in this uh, in the intuitive sessions mm -hmm. as well, uh, and um, and more than likely, everyone that purchases, uh, they will uh, or. Uh, Okay, so Nasira said uh, everyone that purchases a package uh, today or this evening or in uh, the near future uh, are star seed, mm -hmm. and they will receive um, at least one of the numerical uh, codes or even two, three, four, five, and six codes. Uh, and she said one of the people that purchases will receive uh, at least 10 codes. Wow. So I wonder who exactly that person will be. Yes, I wonder. But um, it seems like someone will be the lucky person. Awesome. <laughs> lucky person for sure. Good, cool. So anything else you want to share with us, Brian? This was so, this was wonderful. I love both of the activations today that um, you brought in or with the help of Nisera. Uh, just so powerful. So, so powerful. I would definitely say uh, that um, uh, we we must remember that uh, we uh, we must stop doubting ourselves. Mm. And we uh, need to state our intentions out loud uh, upon everything that uh, we want to bring forth and everything that we want to um, uh, that we want to envision for ourselves. Because uh, remember, we are the ones that uh, that limit ourselves, and we um, we as uh, star seeds and we as um, beings of light, uh, we don't need to uh, we don't need to sit there and put limitation or self sabotaging beliefs upon us, and remember. Um, uh, and remember the golden rule, ask and you shall receive. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And also, you know, don't forget everyone, the, um, the lemons and white candles too. <laughs> yes, the lemons and white candles to so make sure that you do uh, the uncrossing. And even if, um, uh, even if you need to get reminded of uh, the whole lemon and white candle uh, ritual, you know, you're more than welcome to uh, ask me uh, in your uh, session um, some more tricks and uh, and techniques for removing uh, blocks. Mm -hmm. And also, if you purchase uh, the session, uh, you will be added to my email list. 
and we'll be able to um, to have some more interesting information uh, for um, for what's to come. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Yes, Brian is very, uh, yeah, authentic, um, compassionate, caring, you name it. <laughs> Thank you, Alta, um, Mira, Rob, Rabbi. I hope I'm saying that um, appropriately. I uh, appreciate that, Alta. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you very much for listening. And thank you very much for the compliment. Awesome. Thank you. And thank you so much, everyone, for your questions and your comments and feedback. And um, I would say for sure, um, please do drink some water after this call, for yes. sure. You know, do some grounding. If, if you need to walk around, do some grounding, move around a little bit, you know, and be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Be kind to yourself and listen to your body. What does your body require? Because you might needs a little extra rest or something else right so please do listen right brian yes make sure that you uh that you listen to the body and if you need to go lay down go lay down and if you need to uh uh to uh go take a walk or go outside to ground out to do so um some of you are in cold climates so bundle up uh <laughs> some of you are uh, experiencing a uh, totally different weather than what uh, us over here in the north um, northern hemisphere are uh, receiving but uh, make sure wherever you are uh, I hope that you all have a wonderful day night morning evening wherever you are and uh, I look forward to working with each and every one of you and um, do know um, do know that Nasira looks forward to speaking with you all and uh, much love to all of y'all. Ah, thank you so much, Brian. And thank you so much, everyone. And um, yeah, I'm definitely going to do one of those sessions so that I can find out about those numbers and <laughs> so much more. There's so much changing within me now lately that, uh, yeah, just, you know, a little bit more clarity would be great. You know, because there's Perfect. so much happening and shifting and changing. It's unbelievable. So thank you. Thank you so much, Brian. Always, thank always so much. so much fun having you here with us. So, so much fun. Yes, it's very much fun. Uh, and thank you so much, everyone. Uh, I enjoyed being here with it, uh, each and every one of you. Uh, let angel wings guide your dreams. Bless be and namaste. And until next time, everyone, may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, and radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Bye.